Hey, what's up folks? Um, today I'll be unboxing the HP Note 15AY071NR. That was a mouthful. As you guys could see, there is, you know, a lot of great specs in it. It's a fifth generation Intel Core um, processor, 2.0 gigahertz. It's one terabyte hard drive, eight gigabytes of RAM. You have an optical um, drive, um, Windows 10 touch screen and it's 15.16 inch display wireland then you have Bluetooth okay so those plus DTS um, sound okay so those things are phenomenal okay and as you could see they have the DTS um, sound there so you know that you get in a quality laptop so I open the box inside the HP box you have, you know, basic things like the instruction manual to tell you, you know, how to set up your computer, right? You have the instruction manual here, tell you how to set up the computer. One thing that I think is very important though, that they said, just remember to plug in the power supply before you turn it on, okay? And um, you should be good. Um, you have the wireless access and of course there's Bluetooth there's a bunch of other information here on the other side that tells you how to navigate Windows 10 but I think um, you know everyone is pretty savvy then they have the touch gestures that shows you how to navigate the touch panel so that's very helpful I think before you actually start using your computer Another thing is that there's this manual here that shows you, you know, where the technical support are and you open it, you should see, you know, some good information inside. Um, there's also another piece of document that I think is, you know, very important. Um, technical support all over the world. Okay, as you can see, from Venezuela to Turkey, Thailand, um, you know. So I think as a result of that, um, you know, I would probably recommend HP as being one of the better computers to buy because they have support all over the world. It's an international company, Hewlett Packard. Um, for those people who don't know HP is. Okay, so what you do now, you take off the, pla the plastic, okay? Make sure that you are very careful in handling it because um, they don't build computers like how they used to. Okay, I could tell you that. Um, I've been in the computer industry for over 10 years and the quality of computers that they used to build before, they don't anymore. These computers are built to last, you know, probably like a new cycle every couple, you know, every two years or something like that. So, you know, you spend good money, but the market needs to keep on going so, so you open it up okay and there's this nice little keyboard uh, cover to protect the keyboard um, you plug in your power supply um, I already plugged in mines before but the power supply goes right to the side right here which and if, if you're open it for the first time make sure that you have your power supply plugged in um, then you see they have um, the ports. You have uh, Ethernet. Uh, you have one USB over here. You also have a FireWire cable. Not FireWire, I'm sorry, HDMI. That's to show you that I've been in the computer game for a while. <laughs> they don't even make computers with FireWire cables anymore. So over here, there is a SD card reader. Then um, you have another USB. And I could tell you that these USB seems like if they're 3.0. Because I tried some external hard drives with them and they're good. Um, on top, there's this uh, nice um, smartphone scanner that allows you to go and watch videos online. So that is cool. And then, of course, there's the little notepad there that tells you, you know, how to make your notebook work a little bit better. So let's get into it. So you turn on your power supply. Okay, 
Um, this is an 8 gigabyte RAM computer, so it boots up pretty fast. It boots up pretty easily. Um, there's not a whole lot to it, but if once you turn it on for the first time, allow it for you know, allow some serious time for it to be done, okay? Um, because it's gonna take a little while to load up. This has already been pre-installed, and um, you know it's loading up right now. Um, what I could tell you is that over the years, um, HP has been a good machine. Um, it's you know it's it works pretty much good quality. Um, Windows 7, um, it worked great. HP built great machines around Windows 7, and I think they have a good machine here with Windows 10. So um, I installed some software already, and I think these are like the most important softwares that you should put on your computer. If just as a general um, rule of thumb, you have um, the Adobe Acrobat Suite, which is um, important. You have the Google Chrome, which is a good um, software to have, internet browser. VLC Player, important because VLC helps you to be able to um, watch multiple videos on various formats. So VLC, having VLC is a wonderful thing to have. Um, PowerPoint and Microsoft Office. And for Microsoft Word, sorry. Um, I have the Microsoft Office suite on there. So, you know, whatever in the suite that you like to use, it's a good thing to have. Whether it might be publisher, whatever. Um, now, I also have iTunes. Okay, so those are the softwares that I think that you you should additionally add to your computer because I think they just um, gives you a greater life on it, right? Um, now, for people who ne don't necessarily know how to navigate um, around Windows um, 10, I'll just um, give you a quick synopsis. Um, Windows 10, you know, once you click on, on it there, you see they have the file system set up where you could see various things like the date, the time, and, you know, a bunch of fun games and movies and everything else, music. Um, if you look in the file um, explorer here if you click there you'll be able to you know get different information you know different information and you see you could um, click on your Windows um, C drive here you could just click on uh, my computer this PC to get uh, different properties and you're gonna see a specs of you know everything that this computer comes with eight gigabytes of ram 64 gigabytes operating system um i3 um, intel core processor two gigahertz which is pretty fast um so you know it's a pretty decent machine now for any other thing that you need to be able to function on this machine you know just go to your home button here and then you go to you know file explorer and you find everything now for the touch screen okay the touch screen works pretty okay um, if you touch say for example you touch you want to open a movie okay you touch here you type it twice you see it pops up say you want to watch um you know this movie here called fire you know warcraft so you click on warcraft the cool thing is that if you tap on a folder long enough you're able to edit the folder but i don't want to edit any folder i just want to open the folder so you click on you so you tap on the folder once like right here like if you're okay and then you click on the file that you you want to no you i want that file there yeah, so you have to be careful. So you, it takes a little bit of practice. You see, no. All right. And it comes up and you see it asks me about the system that I want to use. And then you, you know, you have it there. Um, there's, you know, the sound quality is um, DTS, so it's pretty good. And, you know, you, you could hear, you could watch a good movie on here. 
so once you're done with your movie you could just exit out here by clicking clicking the red button or you could minimize and it okay all right you could exit exit everything by clicking x if you want to go to the home screen you know you could you know select whatever you want to select say for example you want to select the the calendar the calendar is going to pop up and um that's it so there's a lot of cool things that you could do with this and if you want to shut it down without touching the power button you just go there hit power um, shut down and that's it okay yeah so and you see it shuts down pretty quickly so I would recommend this computer for anybody um, even if you want to do a little bit of high-end editing of videos and stuff like that I would recommend this computer um, because you know it's pretty decent okay um, it costs around like you know six hundred dollars um, with tax and everything included but it's a worthwhile investment and it has one terabyte so um, I recommend it for school or anything else all right so thank you for watching this video um, and I hope if you decide to purchase this um, computer that you have a enjoyable experience with it okay it's a pretty nice machine thank you for watching